Hi, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, and in this segment, what I'll be going over is how to conduct a complex samples regression analysis. Now, mind you, this is a different type of analysis than a regular regression analysis, whether it's linear, logistic, or Cox regression. So let's go ahead and get started here. And the first thing, the very first thing that you have to do is create the CSA plan. So let's uh, click on Analyze, and then click all the way to Complex Samples. You might be tempted to click on Regression um, over here, uh, and that is not the correct menu item. So you go to the Complex Samples, prepare for analysis, and what I'm going to do is provide you with one that I've created already. So we'll select the edit a plan. Now for you, you might not have, more than likely you won't have a plan file. So this is where you would create, browse and create a name for your file. In our situation, uh, we're gonna use one that's there already. I'm gonna show you um, how exactly to create this plan. So, um, Here's the plan. Um, the strata is this variable clusters PSU and then weights uh, LLCPWT. I'm going to show you now uh, how to actually find these variables. As you know, um, the BRFSS uh, is con comprised of landline and cell phone data, and there's actually 279 variables on this. So um, how are you supposed to actually find this needle in a haystack? Well, um, out of so many variables, almost 300 of them, uh, the best way to do this is, um, as you can see, the eighth one down is primary sampling unit. That you can put in clusters. And then I want to show you something specific here. Uh, sample design strata goes in with strata. And this is about 208 to the to 209 um, variable. Um, there's so many variables, it's uh, difficult to find these. Um, so the sample design strata goes here. And then the final weight, and I'm going to place this back where I found it. The final weight can, can be confusing. Um, there is a raw weighting factor and then uh, stratum weight. Um, however, you want to do... Uh, the, f the final weight, and that is the landline and cell phone. So I hope this has provided you um, with some insight as to how to get these uh, variables in the proper places. That's really the most tricky part of all of this. So let me select next, and then let's provide the default um, with replacement, uh, and then finite population care correction, and then Next, uh, here are the variables now um, underneath. You might want to check these, make sure that they are actually the appropriate variables underneath. And now, again, mind you, this is the behavioral risk factor uh, uh, surveillance system. So um, this has a lot of different variables. Um, save your specifications to a plan file. No, that's not what you're looking for. Go all the way down and uh, use the existing plan file and then select finish. So there you have it. Uh, now you're ready to conduct your analysis, whether it's uh, multiple regression or something else. So if you're trying to prepare this uh, for a logistic regression, um, let's take the take a look at the command prompt and uh, you browse for your uh, CSA plan. And here's the CSA plan for me. Um, because you created it already, all you do is apply it every time. Um, that plan is vital for you um, to be able to apply in a different uh, model building uh, scenarios within BRFSS. So uh, I'm going to select cancel because this is already um, provided. And, and then you can provide a dependent variable, which is uh, binary. Um, and we can quickly select here. Um, are you are you male or female? Uh, and then some independent variables can uh, provide some insight as well. And some of those are uh, multiple 
uh, multiple healthcare professionals, um, and and some of the other, um, perhaps, more appropriate um, indicators for uh, male or female. So th th this is um, going into more um, uh, of an area that is beyond the scope of this um, lecture. I hope that this has provided you with some insight. Thank you for listening.